Hey, in this lesson, we are gonna be setting up a spreadsheet. So I've just got some dummy data in here and some values within the columns. So we've got first, last, email, and status. So eventually what we want to do is to be able to click a button up here within the spreadsheet that we're gonna be adding customized to the UI. Once we click the button, it will send an email message to the user, to that email, and then eventually it will update the status with that we've sent the email. So in this lesson, what we're gonna be doing is we're setting up the basic structure where you can select the content from the data spreadsheet and send the email. So we're just doing send email and approve and it's got a pop-up there. So send to Lawrence three and that's the email address that it's gonna to send to. Uh, you can see that it corresponds with what we've got in that selected row. And then if you click yes, then it will actually go ahead and send the email out to this user. And you can see that the email comes in. So right now we just have a default HTML email there that we're sending, and we're gonna be customizing that in the upcoming lesson as well to send customized emails to the users within the spreadsheet. So that's call coming up in this lesson. Okay, so let's get started. Go ahead and log into your Google account and then go over to the drive. We're gonna to need to create a spreadsheet for this project. So create brand new spreadsheet. So going over to the icon on the top left, then select sheets and create a brand new spreadsheet. So this can be called test sheet. And within the sheet, so just uh, shut down those messages there. And we're gonna need some parameters. So we've got a first name, a last name of the user, and then we're also gonna need their email address and then a status once the application gets approved and once we finalize and we send the email. So we are gonna need to send emails. I'm gonna create some blank emails here and I'll also add in some names. So just do Lawrence once one and Svekis one, and we'll create a simulated list of users here so that they're all different. And then you can also update the heading values so to distinguish it from the rest of the content as we're gonna be applying and sending the emails to these ones here. So this is gonna be maybe a list of users. So just give the sheet a name of users. So we also need to add in some email addresses. For this, I'm gonna be using one of my testing emails. So I'm just adding that in. And with Google emails, with Gmails, you can add a plus, and this will still send the email address to that original user. You can also use a period as well, so that uh, we are sending out to all the different addresses, but it's still gonna come into the one address. So adding in the plus there, so that I can have distinct addresses that we're sending. And then the status is gonna be updated using the app script in order to do the update of the status. So first up, what we wanna do is we wanna add a UI item into the menu. So that's gonna be just to the right of help. So let's go ahead and open up our Google app script. And so this is gonna be a bound script, meaning that the script is gonna be bound to the spreadsheet and we're using the script editor directly within the spreadsheet as we're gonna be selecting the active cell whenever the approve has been pressed. So let's go ahead and open up the script editor and then just give the project a name, so emailer tester. And this is gonna be allow us to send those customized emails. And the first function that we want to add in is the on open. So that way, whenever the spreadsheet gets opened, that will run the script right away. I'll make the scripting area slightly bigger so it's easier to read. So you don't, of course, have to do this unless, of course, you want to. Uh, so this is just making it bigger, easier to read while I'm doing the recording. So first up, whenever we open it up, we wanna select the UI object, and we can use that, do that by using the spreadsheet app and then applying the get UI method. So this will return back the UI object. And don't forget to use the curly, the rounded brackets so that it invokes the function. And so once we've selected the UI object, then we can create menu items. And that should be a period. So create 
menu and that's going to create the little tab menu and so whatever string value that you want within the tab menu so this is on the top level uh, so what you want to see there and I'll just call it uh, send email so this will actually send the email and then within the drop down we're going to add an item and this one can just say approve and then to finally add it to the UI we can add to UI and within the add item so we need a string value but we also need a function that we're going to call and I'll just call the function approver so when the button gets clicked when the add item the approve button gets clicked it's going to run this function the approver function so let's create some dummy content within the approver function and for now what we'll do is within the approver function we'll have a pop-up alert so we'll just use uh, the response value and we'll get the ui alert and we actually need to select the UI item again. So just as we've got over here, every time you want to use the UI item, you need to select the object in order to uh, make use of it. So we're selecting the alert function within the UI object. And we'll just ask a question and we'll see if this is okay. And then the button set that we want to use, that's also contained within the UI object. So we've got the button set of UI and the button set that we want to use is going to be the yes or the no. So we we'll only, only give them the two options of yes or no. So now we need to add the on open. We need to add the item to the menu of the spreadsheet, which we don't have it added yet. Uh, so there is, you can do it where you just open up the sheet and it will add it, but you can also run the on open function and that will simulate having the user open up the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and do that. We're running on open for the script to run. So once we've run the script, you can see that now send email has shown up here within the tab menu. So let's select that. And we only have the one option within the UI menu, which is approve. So let's click that one. And that shows the alert where we've got the message that says, okay, yes or no. So I had added in the log and you're going to notice that you don't see anything in the log when we execute it from the spreadsheet. So if we do this, we're not going to actually see the execution and the response in the log. So if we go to the execution log and we want to see the response, we would have to run the approver function within the app script dashboard. So we could run it this way and then that would add and trigger the message here. We could click no and we get the response back. So that's the way that you can debug it is running the functions directly from the app script dashboard. So next up, what we want to do is we want to select the content from that particular cell. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to get the active cell contents. So let's select the active spreadsheet and we're going to get the current cell row and get the content from that row into a usable object. So we can just call it user and selecting from the spreadsheet app, we're going to get the active sheet. So whatever the sheet that the user is on, and then we're going to get the active cell that's been selected. And then from that active cell also retrieve back the current row value. So that will return back the row of whatever the selected cell is. And we can log that out into the console as well and try the function one more time. So select an active cell, run the approver function. We need to access and apply the permissions from the Google Apps Script in order to run this. Because right now what we're doing is we're selecting, uh, creating and editing the spreadsheet content. So we've added additional layers of permissions to our sheet. We get returned back the rate the row data which is six and then we've got the pop-up alert so that's going to correspond with whatever row we're currently on and that will also give us the row in order to get the data from that current row so let's uh, get the user data and we'll create a 
variable for data. So using the spreadsheet app, we're going to get the active range or active sheet we should get. And from the active sheet, we want to select a range. So getting the range value. And the range is going to be whatever value we've got here being returned back for the row. So actually, I'm going to rename this to row instead of user. So that makes a little bit more sense there. So this range is going to be the row starting at number one. And then row. And we want to get all of the data up until C. So starting at one, which is A, B, and C. So the structure for the get range method indicates that what you want as the row, the starting value. So top left is going to be the row and then the column that you want to start with. So you're making a selection of content that's contained from the sheet. So we're starting at whatever row and we know that we're picking up the row that we're on with the active row value. And we've just updated that to row. So we've got that as a value for row. We want to start at the first column because we want to get all the data starting at A, B, and C. So we want to pick up three columns. And then next up, the number of rows. So we only want to use one row. So whatever row that we're on. And then also the number of columns. So we want to pick up three columns. And then we want to get the values. So using the get values method, we're going to turn back the values that are contained within data. Let's uh, try that. And also, I'm going to comment out the alert because right now we're not going to need the alert quite yet as we're still debugging and running within the app script editor. And so now what we want to do is we want to select. So how about we select row number six and it's got the content there for row number six. So let's get that content using the prover function. So we run it. We're on row number six. And this is the content that's contained within that row. And as you see that this is a nested array within the main array. So we just want to pull back that first item that's available within that array. And we can use that by indicating that we just want that first set of data within that array. So try that one more time. And now we've got just one array. And now we can select the items that are contained within the array and assign it to a more readable object format. So let's do that now. So creating the actual user information. And this is going to be contained within just a regular object format. So setting it up and we've got the first name. So this is going to make it a little bit more usable. So data and the first result for the array. And then last is going to be the second result within the array. And then the email is going to be the third result. So index value of two, because we know that arrays are zero based. So that's where we start with zero. So now let's see what we've got here for the user object and see if this is more readable format that we're getting the content that's contained within the spreadsheet row. So save and let's run approver one more time. So now we've got last is the last name email and first. So we've got it within an object format. So that means that we're able to make better use of it. Uh, so once we have the alert, we can confirm with the user that this is going to be the actual user that they want to approve. Okay. Send to and then we can use the user information that we've got that we've just extracted. So for user first, and then also maybe if we want to just be double sure, we can just uh, put the email address there within the rounded brackets. And so this is going to pop up within the alert. And I do need one more quote there. And this should be email actually not first. And then save that. And I think we're ready to test that out. So let's uh, try it. So now whenever we press the approve button, we should say send to Lawrence three and that's the right first name. And then that's the email address that's going to send to, and then we can either say yes or no. So if we do get a value back of yes, then we want to kick off and do the sending of the email. So let's uh, take care of that condition. So check to see if the response is equal to the UI. And we're going to be just looking at the button 
value and checking to see if it's yes. And if it is, then we can send the email. So send user. And then what values and data that we want to send to the user. So let's add in one more value here within the user to see what row that they're on. And we're just going to use whatever row value that we've got here initially. And then we're just going to send the user over and manage the email out using the template. So this will be a separate function that will take in the send user and get the user value. And then we can do send out the email to that user. And right now, let's just add a basic mail message. So using the mail app, we're going to send an email. And this is going to be an HTML email, as eventually we're going to be creating an HTML template to send the email. So it's sending a mail message to, and who do we want to send the email to? So it's going to be user email. And we're passing over the user object here. So that's where we can use it within this function. So we're sending it to the user email and then comma separating as this is an object. So the subject test and then whatever we want for the HTML body. And I'll just uh, create a variable called message and then we'll populate some content for message. And then we're going to be updating that from the HTML template. So right now it'll just be an HTML email that will say hello world. And then we can update the values for the email afterwards. So let's see if this sends the email. And I'll just uh, clear out my email there and hit the approve button. So we need to authorize the script to send emails. So let's go through click through the authorizing of the script. And we're now sending the email from the Google Apps Script account. So that's authorizing it. And let's uh, go over to our email. So there we've granted the access to it. And maybe we're going to go into the debugging and see actually what happened here. So let's run the approver. Yes. And it looks like it did send the email. So it sent it as an HTML email. So it just took slightly longer, but it did send out the email to that email address that was indicated within the spreadsheet. So a few other things we need to still do before we can wrap up this project. So the next part is going to be creating a customized HTML template that we can use to send the email. And then lastly, updating the sheet status that the email has been sent to that user. So that's coming up in the next lesson. So go ahead and set up your spreadsheet, add some data to the spreadsheet, add some email addresses, and then create the functionality to send the basic email message to the user from the spreadsheet. In the upcoming lesson, we are going to be completing this project. So go ahead, set up your own version of the project. And then coming up next, we're going to wrap up and conclude this project.